Hello, I'm Coach Natalie. And welcome to this episode of Jiu Jitsu for Dummies. Well, we're continuing on and as promised, we're gonna start uh, with a series of shoulder locks. Now this uh, builds on an arm and head triangle that we covered way back in episode 22 called the Kata Gatami. Now in this case, um, if I'm, you know, pressing on one side of their neck with my inner elbow, and I'm going to be, you know, forcing this arm across their neck, they may want to defend against that uh, using what we call the phone defense. Instead of, you know, talking on the phone, you're actually grabbing uh, the back of your head. And so what's that doing is protecting uh, this near side of their neck uh, from me. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is actually using this phone defense and turning that into a shoulder lock. It's pretty simple, so let's check it out. Okay, let's break it down. So if you haven't watched the earlier episode, the head and arm triangle, we're pressing on both sides of uh, their neck. Again, their uh, opposite side of their uh, neck is uh, touching the inner part of my elbow. Uh, normally what they might be doing is, you know, covering their neck. And so what I'm doing is I'm shucking this arm cutting the corner, trapping the top part of their arm uh, with my chest, and I'm, you know, securing the head. <sighs> Get on the back of toes, and I'm really pressing this arm uh, against their neck. Now, as I mentioned, a, a common defense against, you know, doing this is actually grabbing the back of your own head instead of, like, calling your mom on the phone, you're actually putting your hand behind your head in what we call the phone defense. So what I'm going to be doing is taking advantage of this um, bent arm. I'm really going to be taking my head and pressing it onto uh, the inside of their elbow. And what I'm going to do is grab this wrist, pull in one direction, push the neck and the opposite or the elbow in the opposite direction now look like this so sally here is going to be grabbing the back of her head now sally's arms are galvanized steel ropes so they have a tendency to not want to bend i'm using this hand to kind of keep her arm bent behind her head what i'm really going to be doing if i was doing this against a real person i'd be grabbing their elbow now putting my head against the side of her bent uh, elbow. What am I doing with my other hand here? Is I'm pulling this wrist out with what we call a monkey grip. Again, securing the head. She is grabbing the back of her head with her hand. I'm grabbing her far underarm, securing her elbow with this hand, using a monkey grip. <sighs> Bending this wrist out, this elbow in, obviously. <sighs> and you get the shoulder lock. There are a few mistakes you can make, especially if you're working uh, with a real person. Whenever you do any kind of joint lock, you always want to be really slowly when you uh, uh, apply it. Um, if it's an arm bar, if it's a knee bar, if it's a Kimura, Americana, um, once you've got the 
position locked in yet. There's no reason why you have to, you know, jerk it. Um, first of all, you want to give your opponent time to tap. Uh, second of all, um, we all have different uh, states of flexibility. And so what uh, one person could easily withstand, the other person might be tapping really very quickly. The third, you really don't want to uh, injure your uh, opponent. Uh, it may take a long time for that shoulder lock to heal. And of course, you know, when they get back on the mat, they might not be wanting to practice with you. So whenever you're doing a shoulder lock or any kind of joint lock, you always want to be uh, very slow and methodical on how you apply that uh, joint lock. Second, um, in Jiu Jitsu, we got a couple of different kinds of grips. One is, as I mentioned, it's the monkey grip, like you're going across the monkey bars. The other one is called a C grip, because obviously it looks like your hand is in a C and you're really squeezing your hand together. And in this case, all I am doing is taking my monkey grip and I'm pulling the wrist out. There's no need for me to have to squeeze. Um, especially when you're doing this against a, a big, uh, strong person, you, you don't wanna burn your grips out if you don't have to. And so if all I have to do is hook that uh, wrist and start to pull it outwards, um, then I'm just allowing my hand to rest. Uh, third, you don't want to give the bottom person too much space to to uh, escape. If I'm, you know, securing the head, putting my head on their uh, elbow, and pressing on it, but I'm like on my hands and knees, you can see there's a lot of space there for them to be able to escape. So in general, if you can lay as low as possible, you have center of gravity, we call that base, and you're really not giving them much room to escape. And then finally, uh, when I'm reaching over to grab their underarm, I want to grab around the narrowest part of them. Now, my arms are pretty short, but even if I had really long arms, it would be a mistake to, you know, reach around the shoulder. You want to reach around the neck and grab their underarm. Again, to do this, let's just assume I'm wanting to do the head and arm triangle, uh, but they grab their behind the back of their head because that's the defense, and that's fine. I'm gonna take this hand and put it around their uh, near underarm, put my head on their elbow, using my monkey grips, grab this wrist, and pushing my head on their elbow this way, and pulling their wrist out this way. That jams out the shoulder lock, and you'll get the tap. Now, if you're interested in more shoulder locks, we're gonna be covering those in a variety of ways in the next couple of videos. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this uh, head and arm uh, triangle, again, we, we cover that uh, in episode 22. It's a new year. Uh, thanks for joining me, especially if you're a new subscriber. Um, thanks for sharing uh, news of our uh, video series with other people. I have lots of exciting things, you know, planned in the next couple of months. In the meantime, thank you very much for your support of Jiu Jitsu for Dummies.